What's up everybody, Hell's Wake here with the comparison video. We're going to take a look at Star Fox on the Super Nintendo using both a composite video cable and an RGB SCART cable. I'm playing this on my SNES Mini, which is modded for RGB, and recording this with a Elgato Game Capture HD. I also have an XRGB Mini Frame Meister upscaler unit. But before we use that, let's go ahead and take a look at the composite video signal as it runs directly into the capture card. Alright, one thing I'd like to note here is that for some reason capture cards have a problem recognizing old console video signals as progressive, so it reads it as 480 interlaced, and that causes the frame rate to go down to 30 FPS in the captured footage, which I've also stretched to fit this 720p video here. So the picture we're seeing is pretty much as far as we can get from what the original console is creating within it on the motherboard itself. And the sad part is, this is the video quality that everybody is used to. Alright, on to the next one. This time I'm just going to put my composite video cable straight into my Frame Meister. The upscaled composite signal looks a little better, there's a little bit more clarity, you can actually see the pixels, but there's still a lot of fuzziness going on, the picture looks a little bit washed out, and there's some color distortion as well, which is normal for composite. But the Frame Meister alone, as you can see, is doing a pretty good job of cleaning up the image, doing what it does at line tripling the 240p up to, two, up to 720 no interlacing or anything like that, it's still running at 60 FPS. Alright, next up is RGB. What can I say, man? RGB looks pretty damn impressive. The colors are perfect, the pixels are perfect, everything is crystal clear, very sharp, amazing image. You may have noticed the dithering, which is the little checkerboard patterns going on here. Just a little trick that the artists use to expand the color palette. It's always been there like that, it's just that the other video signals are so blurry that you can't even tell. Alright, now I'm going to turn on scan lines, which is a feature of the Frame Meister. 
The purpose of these is to emulate what the game was supposed to look like when played on a CRT television screen. Personally, I freaking love scan lines. They look absolutely amazing and pull the entire picture together for me. Some people don't like them, they just think the screen looks darker. It's purely a matter of personal taste. But the thing about scan lines is, I don't like to record gameplay with scan lines because when the video gets compressed, the scan lines get all blurry and distorted and they, they aren't rendered properly. Unless you use a huge video bitrate. Which I am for this video, just for the purposes of uh, quality. It's a short video, so um, I'm doing it for science. All right, next up, we're going to do composite versus RGB skirt side by side. That's it. I think the results speak for themselves. Thank you for watching my comparison. And remember, if you love your old video game console, do yourself a favor. Get rid of your composite video cable. One step at a time, we can change the world. We can get rid of terrible, blurry, fuzzy video game pictures once and for all. But it starts with you. You know what to do. He's out. <laughs>